Carol Burnett with Harvey Corman, Vicki Lawrence, Tim Conway, and her guest, Dinah Shore. say anything before we get started yes um i have your book and i want to know if you autograph it you have my book what book <laughs> oh the picture book you're the one who bought it how nice that's very sweet would you send it backstage and i'd be happy to sign it during the show thank you would you make sure that the uh, i get the book the, that the young lady has yes hello hello i haven't seen you since uh you were on the buddy hackett show York, and I have a big 10 cent bet with my brother, who you also knew from high school, it, if you remember. If I remember the Buddy Hackett show? <laughs> or if I remember going to school? <laughs> well, well, that was back in the covered wagon days. I re you're June. Yes. Here. Oh, yeah. Your brother is Richard. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Six years ago. <laughs> Don't go away, we'll be right back. Recently, nearly the entire nation spent a total of five hours watching Gone with the Wind make its TV debut. So for those of you who ran out of Kleenex and were unable to watch it, we put together our own mini version to let you know what you've missed. Oh. <laughs> than ever. Oh, why, Cousin Beauregard, how you do turn a girl's head. <laughs> Miss Darling, I swear, you are a vision. Why, Cotton, you got enough, enough charm in you to be twins. <laughs> <coughs> Remember me, Miss Starlet? Oh, Billy Joe, my goodness, I thought she jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Miss <laughs> <laughs> He's here. Mr. Bashley! He's here! Oh, fix my hair, straighten my dress, and pinch my cheeks. I gotta look my best. Oh, what are you doing, girl? Leave me alone. Oh, my Brashley is here. Oh, oh why, Brashley Wilkes, how now, good of you to come. Yes, thank you, Miss Stalin. I believe you know my cousin, Melody. Yes, of course I do. Come thank in, you. Miss Wilkes. Ashley, darling, why don't you go into the parlor and I'll join you directly, huh? Uh, uh well, what about Melody? I... Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about Melody. Uh, I'll take care of that twit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh. Melody. Hello, darling. How sweet of you. How kind of you to invite me. Yeah, I know, but come on in anyway. <laughs> May I take this moment to tell you how very much I do admire you, and I certainly hope someday we can be as close as sisters. <laughs> In the meantime, Melody, why don't you just stick your head in a punch bowl? I'm sure it could use a little more sugar. <laughs> All right. Yes. Ashley, my darling, I got something to tell you. Well, I have something. No, no, no. Let me tell you mine first, and then you can tell me yours. Mm. Oh, Brashley, I love you. 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 I really, really do love you. Now, what was it you wanted to tell me, darling? Mm. I wish you'd have said that sooner. This isn't going oh, to be easy. Uh, Brashley, I love you. I love you. Well, uh, I love you. I, I married you. Melody this afternoon. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. How could you do that to me? How could you? Uh, well, it wasn't. Uh... <laughs> I never want to see you again. Get out of my sight forever. 
Boy, for a minute there, I thought she was going to be mad. <laughs> You're liable to bust a stay. Sir, you should have let your presence be known. Just who are you and how did you get in here? I'm Captain Rat Butler. <laughs> and I arrived here by way of a streetcar named Desire. You, sir, are no gentleman. And you, Miss O'Hara, are no lady. <gasps> oh! Done? I love you. You and I are cut out of the same rotten, dirty cloth. Renegades, both of us. If it went for this blasted war, I'd bury you in a minute. What war? Miss Dollar! Miss Dollar, that doesn't declare war! War! I get out of that this way! War! I'm on my way to war. A lonely soldier going to almost certain death. Don't you want to give me something to remember you by? I certainly do. <laughs> that ought to do it. <laughs> so, Brashley, we don't want to keep the war waiting. Right. Good, good Bye, morning. my darling Brashley. <laughs> my starlet, your concern for my Brashley is overwhelming. You have a full and generous heart. You're sick. <laughs> disagree with you the four of us i do believe i'm going to have a baby a baby yes oh shoot <laughs> what are we gonna do with a baby in the middle of a war oh well, now don't you worry none miss starlin i know everything there is to know about birth and babies i've done it lots of times oh, oh that is such a comfort to me sissy because i do believe i'm going to have it now oh, oh my goodness Ma'am, this is to inform you that General Sherman's army is now occupying Atlanta. You got a match? Oh, yes, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Sissy, who is that at the door? Just some soldier. Great balls of fire, they're burning Atlanta. <laughs> well, you better hurry up down here with them letters, Miss Starter. This baby ain't gonna wait for no fire. Oh, my goodness. Here, here's your hot Good water. Heavens. There's your linens. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, what am oh. I going to do? Oh. Starlin O'Hara is not going to oh. be trifled with. As God is my witness, these Yankees aren't going to beat me. Oh, I'd like to be a
Afternoon, ladies. I'm here to collect the $300 back taxes on Tara. Oh, well, uh, won't you step into the parlor while I fetch my pocketbook? Very well, but you better be quick about well, it. I will. Why don't you just go right over here? Uh, tell me, could I offer you a chair? Why, well, yes, I you don't got mind it. <laughs> you do, Melody? Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree? <laughs> oh, thanks for the ride, boys. Maybe we'll win the next one. <laughs> oh. Hi, girls, what's for dinner? Hey, Brad, you're back. Oh, my God. Now that the war is over, my daughter will never let anything come between us ever again. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Oh, uh... Hi there, Starlet. What's new? Nothing. Nothing is new, darling. Everything is just the same as it was when oh, you left. Right. Well, not quite, Starlet, darling. Don't forget about little Brashley, too, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, we'll talk about your brat later. Right <laughs> now, I got more important things to discuss. Listen, Brashley, they want $300 on back taxes on Tara, and I don't have the money, so could you help me pay up the note? Well, I'd love to. Oh, you oh, sweet, please. generous darling, Brashley. You've always been so oh, good. Brashley. <laughs> yeah, but you see, my money is gone. Gone? Gone where? It went with the wind. <laughs> what wind? Well, that's pretty, but it doesn't answer my question. <laughs> Come upstairs. I want to show you our son. Oh. No, but wait. What am I going to do about the back taxes? Well, why don't you ask that nice Captain Butler? Oh, no, Count Lowlife, Captain Butler. You mean Rat Butler, the man who became a millionaire during the war? My precious rat, where is he? Well, he said he was going to be here this afternoon, but he stopped off at the Camp Town races. As you folks know, that track is five miles long. <laughs> he was out there bidding on a bobtail nag. And, uh, I put two bucks on the bay myself, of course. It's only a deuce, he probably only paid 260 to show, so I do da do da. <laughs> Darling, don't you want to go upstairs and see little Brashley Jr.? Brashley Jr.? Yes. Oh, I was hoping you'd kind of name him after me. <laughs> Sissy! Sissy, get in here. Oh, what am I going to do? Captain Butler is coming over and he's got money and i got to get it. And look at me. I look like the inside of a goat's stomach. What am I going to wear? Well, Miss Dollar, the Yankees done stole all your clothes. I know that, stupid. No, Miss Dollar, isn't that Captain Butler's carriage now? Lord, what am I gonna do? Well, I've got an idea. When he comes in, why don't you hide behind the drapes? <laughs> Sis, help me take these down. Well, what's she doing that for? Never you mind. Now listen, when he gets here, you just keep him busy. You understand? Yes, sir. Because I've got me a dress to make. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sissy. Is Miss Starlet at home? Come on in, she'll be down in a minute. I really like what you've done with the place. So, how are you, Captain Butler? How am I? You ask that of a man who just returned from battle? Who returned from seeing brother pitted against brother? From seeing the world that he loved crumble beneath his feet, and you ask, how are you? How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? <laughs> I'm a man of many wishes, is he? I wish this filthy war never happened. I wish for a time when life was simple and beautiful. I wish I was in the land of cotton. <laughs> Old times there are not forgotten. Look away! Look away? Look away! <laughs> Dixieland. You know, that's real catchy. You ought to set that to music, Captain Butler. I wish one come true, sissy. It like my dreams have went with the wind. What wind? <laughs> It's real pretty, but that don't answer my question. <laughs> what 
Tara, what brings you to Tara? You, you vixen, you. Starlet, I love you. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. Thank you. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. I'm sorry, maybe it isn't Starlet. Yes, it is Starlet. Starlet? Yes. Will you marry me? <laughs> marry you? Why, you're the scum of the ocean and the chicken of the sea. <laughs> of course I'll marry you. Where are you gonna find a minister? Well, I'm a minister. Oh, good. Will you marry it? Sure. I now pronounce you man and wife. Now, how about them back taxes? Here you are, Minister, $300. Uh, Sissy, show the minister the door. Shoot for $300, I'll show him anything he wants. Come on, shoot him. Well, at last we're alone, Starlet. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. There will be no kissing in this marriage. Oh, yes, there will, Starlet. You need kissing. You need a lot of kissing, and from someone who knows how. Oh, oh, put me down! Oh, put me down! man you are, but I'm yours. Now, now, Scarlet, I'm pooped. Shoot, this just hadn't been my day. Oh, Brash. Oh, uh, hi, Scarlet. What's going on? I just became Mrs. Rat Butler. Would you like to kiss the bride, my darling? Well, I, well, I, well, I, well, I, well, I, oh, well, I, 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 well, well, I always seem to be interrupting your tender moments. Rat. Step out of the way, woman. This is between us men. <clears throat> oh, perhaps I ought to get out of the way then. Wait, you! Okay, y'all. Well, it's a good thing you hit here. You could have killed me. Please, pardon the intrusion. I do hate to be a father. I'm going to that great plantation in the sky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold it. Just say that you got something that's going around. Please. Oh, is that you, my darling, Bryce? Would you please ask Starlet to come here? I want to talk to her. Please. Sorry, I'll get it. Oh, Bryce, you. You got it. I'm coming, Melly, I'm coming. Yes, Melly, yes, what is it? Oh, my darling, Yes. Yeah. Like my sister, you are like my sister. Yes. I want to tell you, I've been thinking about our friendship all these years, my darling. Yes, Melly. I want you to know how I really feel. Yes, Melly. Oh. I can die a happy woman. <laughs> die, y'all. She's gone, look at her, she's gone, she's gone, she's gone, 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 she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. What? Brashley, you you really do love Melly? You never let yourself believe that, could you, Scarlett? Oh no, I, I knew he really did love her, but I never knew he really, 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 really did love her. I really, 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 really did love her. Now she's gone, gone, gone. She's gone. I really, really, really did love her. Now she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. I really love her. She's gone. And I'm gone. <laughs> oh, Brad, my darling. Darling, a man loves like that only once in a lifetime. Once that love is dead, it can never be rekindled. Brad, what are you saying? Start it. Brad, Brad. I'm leaving you. Leaving me? But, but what will I do? What will become of me? Frankly, my dear, I don't oh. get... <laughs> What did he say? He said, Frankly, my dear, 
frankly, my dear, I don't get. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Oh, Sissy. Sissy, what am I gonna do? 